That's yours. Enjoy it. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, that's, I wasn't. I wasn't no way. Thank <laughs> you. That's, that's a real treasure. Wow. <laughs> it's quite a place you got here, Richard. It's about room for both of us in here. Yeah. And a whole bunch of wood and yeah. tools. Yeah. And there, there's the lathe where you do. There's the beast. That should be nice. It's got a nice bit of sap wood on there. Yeah. I will probably do it that way up. Ah. Now it's funny just looking at it, I would sort of guess that you'd go with the grain, as it were, and uh, do it the other way around. Well, the grain but, is that way, and yeah. I'm be turning it that way yeah. anyway, so yeah, just keep as much of the sap wood and as that, you can. Right. So that will be the top, since I'm on video, rather than doing it for myself, is not the centre. <laughs> I normally do it by eye. Yeah. So you'd normally busk it, but today, yeah. for the camera, I will do it properly. I suppose that the, the centre, it just makes starting off easier, is that right? Uh, it means I get the most out of that piece of wood. Yeah, simple as that. Um, right. If yeah. it's off centre, then the bowl ends up that much smaller. Yeah. Um, simple as that. I probably will take the corners off just to save a bit of time. Sure. Need the new so you have a number of different chucks, isn't that A number right? of chucks, different jaws, and various yeah. other jaws to go on them. Uh, I've got the, uh, I am privileged, fortunate, whatever you want to call it, to have three chucks, because I do it semi-professionally. Yeah. Um, most people just doing it as a hobby would have one chuck and keep changing the jaws. I've actually got three chucks here with one, two, three different sets of jaws on them and there are others I can put on instead. What they call a woodworm screw. <laughs> so it worms its way into the piece of wood. Yeah. All right. There we go, and that's on there. Turn the machine on, the beast on, and set a decent speed. 1500, that will do. And this is a bit of a brute tool to use on a small dish, but uh, it will be quicker. So. Just first thing is to get it to round. Almost round, a little bit of a flat on there somewhere, there we go. There we go, that's to round now. Right, so that's going to be the bottom. What I need to do now is put a tenon on there to hold it in the chuck. And use a smaller one, there we go. Just true it up. Somewhere over here, a pair of calipers. We'll do that. <sighs> That's really clever. That's the size I want. Yeah. A pair of dividers. Put them onto the centre. Yeah. Nice and simple. Nice and simple. That's the size I want. Yeah. So I forgot that. This is the easiest tool to use, a scraper for this. Can do it with a variety of tools, but I find this the easiest. Nice square pennon that can be gripped in the shop. There we go. Let's see how it turns out. Have a look at that. I think the tool could do with a little sharpen for the final cut. Yeah, it's just cutting a lot better. And to look at the profile, I'm not looking down here, I'm looking up there. I'm yeah. looking at the profile against yeah. the wall as I'm cutting. Because your, your, your hands know where the tool needs to be, yeah. as it were. Yeah. Didn't when I was learning. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah. do now. <laughs> yeah. 
I slow the lathe down to do this, partly to save my hands, it gets a bit hot, the friction, partly to save the bowl, because where you are sanding across the grain rather than with the grain, and on a bowl of course you're sanding across the grain twice and with the grain twice, yep. where you sand across the grain you get what is called heat checking, very fine cracks in the timber as the fibres split apart with the heat. So slow it down, it reduces the heat, reduces the chance of cracking. Yeah, and, and I can feel that that's, a yeah, couple of spots you can feel, it, as you say, it's, it's yeah. here where it's slightly warmer. Yeah. Then it will get smooth. Yeah. So gradually down through the grip. I will probably finish at 320, 400, something like that. I see sometimes people going up to sort of thousand and, you know, I do for pens. Yeah. Uh, ah, yeah. For pens, I tend to have, you get a really good shine on the wood just with going up through the grip. Yeah. Pens, I will start at 240 because it's generally a smooth finish anyway. Um, I will go up to about five, seven thousand. There we go. Finished outside. Sully low sanding sealer because it's nice and quick drying. There we go, that's that. There we go, that looks beautiful. Frame in the camera. And the feel of it, you yeah. know, it's just, there's, a, there's almost a warmth to it, isn't there? Yeah. That's just lovely. Well, thank you ever so much. Pleasure. Sure that's been a real pleasure. Absolutely. Brilliant. I'll go and put the kettle on again then. What a good idea. <laughs>